Stuart Matola here, men's relationship coach. And I'm going to talk to you today about how to stay strong when she's throwing firecrackers at you. She's coming at you with strong emotions, accusations, complaints. You're not enough. You don't do this right. You don't show up. And often that just leads to conflict and fights and arguments. And so maybe you find your place, self in the place where you're defending yourself, you're arguing back, um, or maybe you're just checking out and saying later. So I'm going to give you a tool here and I'm going to bring out the whiteboard here. And let's just go through this simple process that's going to help you stay strong when you feel like she's throwing firecrackers at you. So check this out. So I already mapped out what I call the one through 10 zone. One, you're cool, you're calm, you can deal with it. You're not all whacked out. 10, the hot zone, you're losing it. The heat's rising, so much fire inside of you. You probably just need to find a way that uh, you're not gonna get really destructive. And so the key with this here, which I'm gonna show you right now, is the difference of be keeping uh, arguments and conflict productive versus destructive and if you use this I guarantee you you can keep it productive so I want you to keep those two words in mind at any point productive versus destructive so now what typically happens at this six point and I'm gonna use red for like you don't want to go here and maybe you do go here a lot so I'm gonna show you what often happens when we don't know this system to what we can do better so this is the place that I call the be right zone, okay? And it is destructive to a relationship, and you know that. It leads to defending, uh, checking out, arguing, etc. We all know where that is. We all know that space. I've been there many times, and I don't really go there that much because I just know it leads to bad things. And so on the other side is what I call the be connected zone. Connected, let's see if we get it all on there, barely. So in the be connected zone, we are self-regulating. Fancy word to say, we're making ourselves safe. We're not letting our emotions completely hijack us. And that might be as simple as like, I'm okay, I'm okay, she's the one freaking out, I can be okay, I don't need to take on her freak out. So self-regulate, and in that zone, you are able to respond versus react. And in the respond place, you can say what you want, and that could be as simple as, I want this to be productive. So we'll put productive, I want us to hear each other, and focus on being connected versus being right. Now I wanna be clear, I'm, I'm mapping this all off of number six because that's the place where you usually lose it. And then what often needs to happen is I, if you hit a six, you're losing it and you need to take that time out. Like, wait a minute, we're just gonna kill each other here. So let's just pause. And I wanna be clear when you take that time out, it's important you don't leave her hanging you come back and you say, let's, let's talk again in 10 minutes or let's come back in an hour. This alone is massive. If you can track the one through 10 and do the timeout, huge step for any relationship that is suffering a lot of conflict. And that's the way you bring in your strong masculine leadership to implement this. And then once you take the time out, you can come back to actually do this. And in that timeout zone, you are getting yourself together, okay? So I wanna be clear, there's a lot of information here for a short video, and uh, there's a huge difference between just getting the information and then actually putting it into action. And this is where coaching explicitly is that place where I travel with a man to take him through this system. And I recently worked with a client who was all stuck in here, okay? We worked on this explicitly, and the biggest piece is that self-regulating, not attacking, de uh, defending, or checking out. 
And suddenly now he is very capable of knowing when he needs to take time out, when he needs to pause with her. But it, it it's take, you know, it's, we're in the zone together. We're noticing, oh, I didn't do that that time. Oh, I did it. And it's taken, you know, multiple iterations for him to master this as it would with anyone. So the information is great, but to have somebody to walk with you through that path um, is that next step. And that's in that, that's deciding if you want to be in that creator mindset, because a lot of guys take the information. They're like, okay, cool. I got it. But then to actually have the will and say, yes, I want to take charge of my relationship and actually put this into action, step into the trenches and create the relationship I want. Um, and so again, consider that difference between just information and you watch the cool video versus actually changing your life and creating what you want with your partner. If you have any comments, I'd love it when guys put comments like, how have you been navigating this? Have you been stuck in the be right zone? Have you been able to, 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 to call the time out with your partner? Super powerful when you leave comments. It helps other men reflect on their situations and it also makes them feel part of a tribe so they know that they're not alone going through this um, all by themselves. And I mentioned how coaching puts us into action and another uh, opportunity that I have is a Men's Tuesday call and I'll leave a link to that where guys are actually going through this process and learning how to implement because again, information is not enough alone. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to my YouTube channel down to the lower right. If you're watching this on a different uh, medium, I'm gonna leave a link to the YouTube channel. And if you're in a spot with your partner where you're in that save or leave zone, you're questioning that, I have an excellent guide that's free. I'm gonna leave a link to that as well. Have a great day and go after what you want in your relationship. Thanks so much, bye.